Hey everybody. Um, what I have here is a limit sensor for my uh, Shapoko CNC router. And uh, this is based off a, uh, a Hall Effect sensor. Um, and I got this idea from somebody else on, um, on the internet. Uh, their version was, a, um, was an SMD, but um, I opted to go through, uh, go with regular through the whole components just because it's a little easier for me and um, I'm just not that good with really small stuff. But um, here's, uh, here's an example of how it works. Essentially, um, as you bring a magnet closer and closer to it, it trips. And this circuit's designed that when it trips, the green light goes off and the red light goes on to show that it's in the in the trip state. If you move the magnet away, it goes back on. Move the magnet closer, the red light goes, uh, the green light goes out and the red light goes on. And it makes for a really small package. You can actually see behind through all the light the etched circuit. Um, and it just makes life a lot easier for me on my uh, Shapoko router because now I can home it and um, also uh, have limit switches in case there's a crash. Not that that's really been a problem, but it just makes setup time easier and more consistent. Um, this chip was in fact made with my uh, Shapoko router. So as you can see, I etched it there, try to get you some uh, decent focus. Um, but um, that's it, it's really small, as you can see. You know, here's my, uh, here's my finger, you can see that it's, it's, it's quite small. It's made up of a couple of transistors, two LEDs, and some uh, resistors, and obviously the Hall, the Hall effect sensor itself. Um, really slick. I do have it running on my uh, Shapoko, and it uh, works great. And in my next video, I'll uh, show you what it actually looks like and how it works. Ready? Great. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, if you like it, like, um, like it on, uh, the, on YouTube. Thanks. Bye.